Hey everyone, Charlie here. Today I want you to start off by hitting the subscribe button and the like button and leaving a comment because that helps the algorithm. You know how important the algorithm is with these things. So today I'm going to do something kind of non-musical. Um, and uh, you've, a lot of you have seen my office. My office kind of looks like this. I've got my, my desk over there. This is where most of the work happens. I sit there and write my emails and type my whatevers. Um, uh, the only two things I had on the wall were two of my diplomas I had over here. Those haven't moved. And uh, then you see I have my uh, little digital piano thing and a light. Important closet. Uh, and then over there I got another light. Matches that light. Uh, I think they're actually pretty cool. But I've been filling out the rest. So if you see behind me, I put up two of um, those IKEA floating shelves kind of against close to the wall that I kind of make it look modern and cool. And then put some frames up there and then put another diploma on the little thing up there, kind of fill it out of it. And then behind me over here, I put up two of the rib IKEA big painting things. And if you've noticed, all of these things are empty. They're completely empty. There's nothing in them. Um, up there, there's stuff there, but here there's nothing in them. And there, there's nothing in them. So it looks, the frames look cool, but there's literally nothing in them. Uh, so we gotta fix that. So uh, in the rest of the house, Stella has like painted stuff or um, designed stuff on the computer, and then we print out like the Walgreens and put them in. It's a great way to fill it up with art. But even that costs a lot of money. So I was thinking, well, what if I just try something out? Um, I'm artistically challenged, as everyone everyone knows. Um, ask any of my past uh, teachers of art in school. Um, I can't draw worth a darn. But modern art doesn't require you to do necessarily a lot of uh, standard drawing. My people that I draw look exactly the same now as they did when I was literally in the second grade. It's kind of sad. So I was thinking, well, what if I just take the backs of these things out and use some of the paint I have like in the, in the garage, just leftover paint from walls and random stuff, and see what I can do to fill out some of this. I think I have some spray paint and some random colors of paint. So I thought, yeah, why not? I mean, worst case, worst case scenario, I can still, you know, put something in front of it and the frame is just perfectly good. I'm just basically painting on the back of the uh, paper that's on the frame. So it might end up as a disaster, probably will, but why not? We might as well try, so let's get going. So I think one of the first things I have to do is kind of figure out what the actual paper situation looks like on, on these things. Because, you know, this is a big frame, and uh, like what actually does it look like? So let's open this up and see what we got. I ought to have gloves on. This can't be good for the fingers. I've got gloves in the garage. They're doing a lot of good done in the garage, aren't they? That's all right. Just want to see what we're dealing with here, because this is going to be the same as the other one, and probably very similar to those little ones. I might have misspoke earlier. Uh, those are Sandhai. No. San, sanahed. Sanahed. These are ribas. Those are Sanahed. The, one, the little ones on the wall. All right, now if I can get this thing. Oh, all right, let's see. Well, we've got a cardboard backing thing. I could paint it right on the back of that and have like a brown background thing. I've got this thing. On one side, it has instructions. So I have to paint over all of that. I don't know. This side is gray, and it has, the, oh, this is printed right on it. Hmm. Well, We've got two shots. Oh, we've got three shots. You can paint on either side of this little flimsy one. Or we can just literally paint right on the back of this cardboard here. It looks like this. And that would probably work. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, brown paintings. Might not look good. Probably won't. Alright, so here's what I found. We have a ton of just random colors of paint. Uh, the previous homeowners uh, left us a bunch of paint, and then we had a little bit of paint. So I have like some colors here that I've never used. And then we've got some random. This I think this was one wall of the one of the bedrooms was painted this at one point. We changed it. I don't, oh, this must have been what my office was painted because my office was blue before we moved in. Well, I got some random like yellow. I got a spray paint can. I got some neutral tones, whatever you want to call those, and then some random random stuff back there. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna invent some new kind of paint. It's gonna look bad, but you know, why not? I mean, why not? So let's see what we can do here. 
Let's start with how much we painted up. Maybe there needs to be a blue over this ribbon. I think it'd be easier to hide this one than it'd be to hide all of them. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll try this way. We'll just bloop stuff and I'll just let it dry out here in the garage and hopefully, hopefully I won't um, mix this. I probably need a mixer or something. Let's see what I have over here. Well, I found a old paintbrush. Pretty hard. Um, again, our, my standards are so low that, you know, they're just so low. So let's give you a good view of what we're doing over there and uh, we'll see how this goes. It will involve a lot of very, very difficult um, things. Let's just mix stuff up first. This one's kind of open. I don't want to mix this one up too much. Let's use blue. I think a blob of blue might look good. Oh, this paint is like mostly dry. How about that? Look at that. This paint here is pretty much dry. Don't just uh, move some of the blue. Or 
All right, I am back and I've got the uh, backgrounds for all of the frames that we talked about earlier. So I got the big one, the other big one. First big one's over there. Beautiful, as you can quite see. I think it's gone up in value. It's about five million now, in case you want it. Let me know, Dia. Uh, 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 give, send me a message or leave a, leave a comment below if you'd like to purchase it. 5.2 million is what the price is now. It's going up pretty fast. Great investment, folks. Um, and then these three for the little ones. Um, I think since these two, the two big ones kind of go together. Oh no, I can't hold it up. But that's part of it. That's part of the art. That's part of it. Because the big ones go together, I think what needs to be done is there should be some overlap, some continuity, right? It's like a set. The set is not going to be 5.2 million times two. Uh, the, 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 the sum is greater than the, the part. So uh, together they're currently 15 million. Uh, but we're going we're to go over that. So what I think I'm going to do is make continuity between this one to that. And I flow so that when they're above and below each other, it looks like it actually uh, is, uh, is intentional that way. So let's move this out of the way. It's a little future one. These are going to be cheaper. Um, I don't see these going above. Uh, I don't see these going above two, three mil each. Let's put these on top of the car, put them on the street rack. Alright, what I'm going to do here is be very ingenuous. Ingenuous, kind of thing. I'm going to be a genius here and use this as a backing so I hold my floors. Let's hope this doesn't sink through the uh, Oh, okay, so I'm going to go like this and space them approximately where the, uh, they would be spaced on the actual uh, wall in my office, okay? So, that's kind of fun. Alright, let's see what I got now. Oh, I gotta go put on my gloves. I took my gloves out. i get new gloves. There we go. Um, let's see. So I think the color should be maybe similar. Is there any extent? I don't think this is actually wet. Oh, okay. What's that? Do we have any other colors here that I want to use? Yeah. Uh, maybe. These are more earth tone type colors. I think we want something vibrant like this. So I'm going to do that for the other one. Let's start with the blue again. I think the blue is a key point to this. What I'm going to do is I am going to, let's make sure you can see this here. Can you see this all? I'm going to lower it so you can see both paintings very well. All right, now watch this. I'm going to continue this from here. I'm going to use this cast cap I just throw it on it. I'm going to take this from here. Uh, but we'll do that some other time. You know what I should use? I should use some of this. 
This is another crazy color. This color is like a, it's called Gulf Street. This is what our guest bedroom had one, uh, one of the bedrooms had a uh, one wall painted this. And the previous one that was left us this, and I'm not gonna paint it. Ruin this ugly color. I think it's an ugly color for a, I tell you, it's not an ugly color. It's not an ugly color. It's kind of an ugly color if you were going to paint a room with it. But it's kind of a cool color for art. Ooh, we got a lot of it. Woo-wee! Let's set that there. This is going to be the point of the bottom. So let's start. Six. There, look at that. See how it continues? It's all part of the plan folks. This isn't just random. This is this is legit stuff here. 17 mil for the for the bear. Can I do a little bit of the splatter here too? Almost 
done. Look at that. Take a look at the 3D net, and it'll probably take three and a half weeks to dry, but look at that. Oh yeah. All right, what about the other stuff? What about the other stuff? So let's move over there. Take a look at these, these ones. How shall we approach these? One, well, there's two sides. One, the, the one side is too, too complicated. So I'm gonna do the, the side with the UPC on it. That's the best bet there. And for this, I'm on my hand right. I'm just gonna. Set you that back there on top of the car. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I don't know. I think we want to cover up the UPC code. That's pretty important, I think. Maybe here we start with a base of gold and then that earth comes on top of it. Either that or I don't know, we'll just start with some uh, stuff that's kind of the same color as that room. Let me grab the. Wait a minute. Right here. Screwdriver. Let's uh, mix this up a bit. Good enough. It's just paint. Okay. Never been done. Probably. Alright, now, let's 
get some of this other color, and I'm gonna use a paintbrush this time because oh, this is completely not mixed properly. The top is like a uh, water, and the bottom is completely just whatever. But that's okay because this is all about the skill. Never done before. 
CA. Hidden. Invisible. For Charlie Alpine. Alright, I think I'm done, folks. Oh, actually, I think we need a little bit of gold. So with the three pictures, you'll see a line, and the two lines coming through, connecting them all. But this is a C, and it has an A. That's good. All right. Well, that. It's not good. Oh, I got it on my um, tripod too. How's it pink everywhere? It's everywhere. All right, let's take a look. So we've got all this artwork, absolutely gorgeous, modern art, free. And I'm artistically challenged, so we'll put it up and after it dries and see how it looks. All right, everyone. Fast forward a couple days later. Future Charlie here uh, with an update on the um, paint situation. Um, I forewarned all of you that I am uh, indeed artistically challenged. And I knew going into the... Um, painting project that it was probably not going to work out for some reason that I probably couldn't foresee. And I, um, again, uh, surprised myself in my ability to foresee such outcomes. Uh, I'm just trying to ramble on right now and basically say that it was a huge fail. So what happened was uh, the next day the paint didn't dry, probably because there was like I don't know, three inches of it on a lot of the actual paint, especially the big ones. Um, so it wasn't drying at all, and it was actually like leaking out. I put stuff underneath it, like cardboard stuff, and it somehow still leaked out. So it got on my, uh, on the cement in my garage. And the other one, the little small, three little mini orange ones, right? Those ones didn't look good at all either. So I just uh, did what any uh, uh, reasonable person would do and threw them away. They all went in the garbage. And then I had to pull the car out and then I power washed off the parts of the, uh, the driveway that, um, or the parts of the garage that were uh, uh, painted. And so clean that all up. And, uh, and then I'm back to having an office full of empty picture frames. But, but, uh, well, first of all, let me show you what, let me show you this part here. So we've got, we've got this. Um, the top is just, nothing. The bottom is, there was paint, this is the one that was in between the two big ones, right? Um, it was thick so I just kind of brushed it so it was like not thick so it would dry and it ended up like that. So maybe that's modern art. Maybe I could sell that one for, I don't know, three mil on a bad day. I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, the little pictures, the orange ones were bad too. So uh, they ended up blank, but this morning I took Stella's iPad and then I did two squiggly lines in three different textures. Like you can choose like if you want a marker shape or a paint shape or whatever. I did that and then I um, printed them out and stuck them in. So check this out. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. So I've got two squiggly lines in like a marker or something and then a crayon or something. And then I don't know what that is, but that's there too. So I got squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line, and it comes out and makes it look super modern. I think that set could probably go for uh, five, five mil for the set. So if anyone's interested, you know, leave a comment down below. But anyways, I thought I wanted to give you guys an update. So ultimately it was a big fail, but um, these are small enough I could just print them out on the printer. So that's what I did. And so now that's where we go, right under my little digital piano. And um, yeah, so. Anyway, thanks for uh, going through that little experiment with me. It was uh, interesting. All right. Uh, subscribe and, you know, like and all that stuff for the algorithms. Um, and I'll see you guys uh, in another video.